I always say, um, hey everyone, or hey guys. And then I was like, it's mostly when we're watching these videos alone. So I'm just gonna say this directly to you. Hello to you, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to the makeup chair. I haven't done one of these talky camera things in, I actually can't remember last time I did it. It's probably this time last year. It's a very difficult thing to do. I've got a dog here asleep and snoring. And I feel like I'm too close to the camera. I'm, I'm struggling with my background, the distance, just everything. I've, I've forgotten how to film. And I was also gonna do like a life update video, but then I was like, Sinead, nobody cares about your life. But for anyone who does care, let me just recap real quickly what's been going on. Got diagnosed with JHS, which is joint hypermobility syndrome. I have the occasional flare up, but it's cool. I got my wisdom teeth out, which was such a relief. Also got the bruise that was on my lip removed. My dentist removed it. Weirdly. What else? Oh, I have a boyfriend and he's awesome and lovely. And we just came back from Donegal, which was the most beautiful place in the whole world. And if you go over to my Instagram, you'll see like little, I'll put some here, clips and stuff from Donegal. And it was unbelievable. I want to go back for my birthday. Can't remember the name. I'll put it here. If you live in this area, what's it like in December? Because I really want to go for my birthday, but I feel like it might be like really bad weather. Oh, oh yeah, I'll see you in the beauty show this coming month. It's the 20th and the 21st, but I'm not sure, but I'm gonna the blank canvas stand, hanging around. So, you know, come up and say hi. I'll do a little, I think I'm gonna do demos and stuff. I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, let's just jump in with the tutorial. And this is the makeup look that I'm gonna show you guys. This is it, this is it on my face. And it can be on your face if you watch the tutorial. Right now, my favorite primer, which is the Flormar one. So I'm not gonna use a primer, which I haven't been doing recently. And I noticed the difference because that primer is so good. I just, I only know one shop that has it and I haven't been there, so I will eventually pick it up. So I'm an extremely pale olive tone. I know you wouldn't believe it, but like I actually, I have like an olive tone and it is so hard to find foundations that work for olive tones because anything that's quite pale usually has like a pink tone or a yellow and I'm olive. So my sister got me this, which is the olive mixer, pro foundation mixer. She so basically mixes with your foundation to create an olive tone. And so what I do is I take my white foundation this is by Face Atelier. Mix it in with the olive. And then for like underneath my eyes and stuff for more coverage, I use the neutralizer, which is by Maybelline. It's the best thing ever. But I also mix that with my white foundation because I'm very pale. You kind of end up looking a little bit like this, which is a bit crazy, but bear with me. So I'm back to using sponges because it is that time of year where your skin kind of gets a bit drier because it's kind of a bit colder and your skin's sort of reacting to that coldness. And so using a damp sponge will help to blend out your makeup perfectly for you. And this by Blank Chemist Cosmetics. So I look a little bit pale, but that's because I'm gonna go in with a powder foundation and you need to have a slightly lighter color under your powder foundation if your powder foundation is a little dark for you, which mine is. So I start with the It Cosmetics just to kind of settle and set the concealer and the foundation. And then I go ahead and use the powder. If I went straight in with the powder, I feel like it clings to certain areas. And also this Bye Bye Pores is amazing at bye buying your pores. So that's why I love it. Really just evens out the texture and takes away too much shine. I literally just use a little bit just on certain areas, just like that with my brush, which is the MF47. This is just like a quite a quick look. So I'm just gonna kind of brush through it. Boom, 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 boom. And then for the magic powder, This one is called In The Sun. In The Sun? I guess that's what it is. I literally just apply it almost like contour bronzer. So I bring it deep in here, but then I bring it across the cheeks. This is where your contour goes, but then your bronzer usually goes on top. So I sort of use it for both because it's a neutralish tone. So it kind of fits in between both of them. Just like that. This brush is so nice. It's the MF38 and it's synthetic brush, but it's dual fibered and it is so soft and so lovely to use. You need it. It's in my opinion, it's one of my favorite brushes of all time. Okay, a little bit of blush. I'm actually using cream blushes recently. So this is the, what is this? 308 and it's by Lancome and it is so nice, but I've already set with powder. So I'm not gonna use that today. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy old favorite. This is Rose Champagne by Wet n Wild with that same brush. So Daisy's lemonade. We're making a mess, huh, baby girl? It's a Clarins Double Fix Mascara. 
so it is for your brows or a top coat for your lashes to make them waterproof. It's it's like glue. It's like actual glue for your eyebrows. It, they do not move. You can take a shower. They're not going nowhere. It's actually hard to clean my brows afterwards. You have to use an oil cleanser to break it down. But like, if you do your eyebrows, they will last you like two showers if you use this stuff. Pippa palette. Taking the black from the Pippa palette. This is my really dirty Pippa palette. I'm gonna, I'm not even focus it because it's so dirty. I use it all the time. I usually clean all of my palettes. I just haven't had a chance. I've just been so busy. So these need cleaning. Pippa palette has been discontinued, but there's a few left if you wanna get it. I have two backups because I love it so much. I don't know what I'm gonna do without it, but it's awesome. So I'm gonna take the black from the Pippa palette on my angled brush. This is the angled brush. I'm just gonna run this through my brows. I just kind of work from the slight, slight in, how do I explain this? I just go from here out and then I use whatever's left over for this intersection. Do, 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 do. Really basic eye that I've been doing recently is I take this. Oh, it's gone again. Oh man. A basic eye makeup that I've been doing recently is using this Lancome. I think it's for the brows, but look at it. Look how cool it is. It's like a weird calligraphy pen but I use it on my eyes and it's awesome. And I love the color because it's like a really dark brown. It's got a hint of warmth to it, but it's also kind of neutral. So it kind of brings out different tones in your eyes. I just bring this around to my lash line. And then I just smudge it with a flat brush. And then I just take whatever's left over on this and just work this underneath. So I usually use the Pippa palette, but I recently got the Urban Decay Honey palette, which is so pretty. So I'm gonna use this instead. A little bit of swarm working on this outer corner and into the crease. Kind of everywhere, just kind of blending it everywhere, but mostly focusing here and then in the crease. And then let's take a little bit of Hive. Kind of do the same. Ooh, pretty. And then let's take Drip. Ooh, too much. Kind of prefer the Pippa palette. Sorry. These shades are so pretty, I just, I just, I prefer the Pippa palette. For mascara, I'm gonna be using this one, which is the Lash Power Mascara, which my friend Chloe sent me. She actually stocks it, so if you're looking for it, it's awesome. It's one of the best mascaras I have ever used. Lashes never show up on camera, but like, look how good they look. And my lashes never show up with just mascara on camera, but you can pretty much see them, but they're actually even better in real life. Apply some lashes. These are super cheap lashes that I get from Pennies and I cut them and shape them myself. It just means you don't have to spend a ton of money but you can make your cheap lashes look so much more expensive. I've actually probably worn these lashes six or seven times and they're really not supposed to be worn that much. By just, just taking care of them, reshaping them. They're not a good shape when you get them but they're workable. Duo glue, baby. Oh, the concentration on my face, like, here we go. And I apply my lashes underneath because I'm crazy. Th the question I always get asked when I apply my lashes like this is, do you get glue in your eyes? I don't feel like I get any more or any less from when I do it the other way, like the traditional way. First time I saw anyone do this, I was like, that is so wrong. You can't do that. But then I was like, oh damn, it works. Sorry, if you can hear my dog snoring. I'm not gonna apologize for her, actually. She's a cutie pie and she's tired, so she can store all she wants. She makes little noises when she's sleepy. Best tweezers for putting on lashes are these ones. These are by Velour. And you know the other ones that I love? They got discontinued, so you can't find them. I think a few people sell them with my picture beside it. Like, these are the ones that Sinead Katie uses. But these ones are still available and they're really good. They would be like my second favorite. If you are a makeup artist, get these seriously and has a little brush on the side as well so brush through your lashes i got some new lipsticks they're in the car i got some of the new ones by lisa jordan but i don't have them with me right now they're in my car oh, and i'm too lazy to go get them <laughs> i'm gonna use this lip liner by primark oh i finally got that thing removed actually from my lip i must do a video on that i'm terrible at putting on lip liner i'll be honest like it's not my not my thing i can do it on other people but not on myself a little bit of my favorite liquid lipstick. Let's cuddle. I also ran out my favorite setting spray, which I cannot find. It's the L L O V. Anybody know where you can get the L O V range? I have no clue. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I actually kind of forgotten how to sign one off. Oh, I'm gonna put myself in the small box at the top of the screen. Hold on. Boom. Okay. Check out the other videos on the screen. 
hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, um, and comment below with your favorite setting spray because maybe I'll find something else that I love, but I really love that one. Yeah. Okay. Bye guys.